So what is good family and welcome back to another episode of Ambitious Eats. Now, I've had a really, really good week. Uh, I've been boxing twice. Uh, I played football once. I've been going to the gym. Uh, my eating has been very, very good. So it's Friday and not only is it Friday, but it's also the opening of the new Premier League season and Manchester United are playing. Those of you guys who know me, you know I support Manchester United. Um, so today... I'm going to be watching the game. It's about an hour and 15 minutes till kick off. But I thought to myself, I've done well. So it's time to get my cheat meal in. So where are we going to be eating at today? A lot of people in Wolverhampton don't like this place. And I'll never, ever, ever understand the reasoning as to why. I'll never understand. But nevertheless, we're going to go. Uh, I'm literally going to give them a call in a sec. Plug in my phone. I'm going to give them a call get my order in and then yeah i'm gonna go and pick it up i'm gonna grab it and yeah i'll show you guys what it is and i'll bring you in on one of the best one of the best meals in the city of Wolverhampton. come follow you boy let's go hiya boss can i make an order for collection please for collection so what would you like yeah can i get a large mixed kebab meat with chips Last week's gonna be fries. Any sauce or salad on it? No salad, but can I have mayonnaise and, and, and can I have salt? So, literally just pulled up. Now, if you're from Wolverhampton, you know this road. The famous Broad Street. <laughs> Now, the place that we're going to be eating at is this place here. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It's going to be quite hard for you to see, but it's literally right there. Kebab brush. This is where we're going to be eating at today. All right. Now, I'm going to show you guys sitting on my phone real quick. Take a look at this. Now, now look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't know why, but Kebab brush, it's got a 2.8 uh star rating out of five stars based off 91 reviews and i'll be honest i don't know the reason as to why um I, these guys have never let me down uh, i'll go for the reviews i'll look at newest simon hill waited over an hour no call to explain i mean listen guys they've always delivered my food still you know i want to keep that 100 percent they've always delivered my food when i've ordered online there you go there's a five star review I've got frozen chicken instead of southern fried. I don't know how true that is. Uh, the owner says that's a fake comment, but yeah, I, I, I can't comment on that. I've never had no frozen food from these guys. Uh, some good reviews found here in food. Listen, I've never once found anything in my food from these guys. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. When I mentioned to people that I eat at Kebab Rush, a lot of people are shocked and surprised. But hey ho, you know, it's all a matter of opinions. But nevertheless, it's one minute past seven. Uh, the owner told me to come in at uh, o'clock. So I'm going to go and grab my food and then I'll jump back in the car and I'll chat to you guys again. All right, so just literally just got back in the car. He asked me to be in there for about seven. Uh, it's about, I think it's, like, I think it's what, like... 10 past 7 now, so it's not even too much of a biggie. Uh, I think he's got a new guy in there that's working with him. I've never seen him before. But yeah, kebab rush. Went and got my food. So this is what I ordered. I ordered a large uh, mixed kebab meat with chips. Um, and then I also got two cans of Fanta Fruit Twist. Um, and I typically usually have two pieces of Southern Fried Chicken from these guys. But he said it was going to be a half an hour wait. And I could not be bothered to wait. So I said, dead that. And he says, he'll just give me some uh, chicken strips instead. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is that I've got. Now, I'm going to do quickly. I'm just going to head back home, get myself set up, uh, get ready for the United game. That kicks off in about 50 minutes. Um, and then, yo, listen, now we'll get into the food. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Because I'm telling you guys, you, you need to order from here and give it some ratings. All right, so I'm going to head home. I'll catch up with you guys shortly and then we'll go from there. Soon come. Okay, so we got the goodies. Uh, this is a thing that I always do whenever, oh, let me move this. Whenever I have like any candy drinks, always get one of these um, because I'm gonna need it because I've got two Fantas. So let me show you guys what I've got. 
Let's hold, we've got the two Fanta Fruit Twists. Open this bad boy and what we do is we take it and we pull it in here. Look at that. That's one Fanta Fruit Twist. Okay, and then we take this one as well. And then we pour two Fanta Fruit Twists. Oh, look at that. Oh. Honestly, Fanta Fruit Twist, my favorite drink. Now we've got all the Fanta, look at that. Look at it bubbling. Oh, let me have a little sip. Oh my God. Fanta Fruit Twist will always be the best drink. Oh. Big nose. Right, now let's get to the to the real good stuff. So, the chicken strips in here, but this is what we came for. This is it. I've got this barbecue sauce that I had in the fridge from McDonald's. This is purely just for my chicken strips, which I'll show you them in a second. Look at this, guys. Oh, look at that. Straight away, the smell is literally just punched me in the face. Like all of the, you can literally see it, the lamb kebab. It's not dry either, okay? It's nice and it's succulent as well, nice and soft. It's not dry and the pieces are just right, not too thick, so it can like overpower you, but they're not, you know, flimsy and thin either. I have a little bit of that, oh my gosh, yes. And then I believe this is like chicken tikka, check out that. With the mayo sauce on there too. Mm, so nice. Mm, yeah. Um these guys, they give you fries instead of chips. Now I do love my fries to be honest. So this works really perfectly well for me. So I'm not mad at that. Alright, we'll take a look at that. Now, let me set you guys down and I'm gonna tuck in and then we'll talk through as I'm eating and I'll let you know what's going on in my mouth. Pause. Alright, guys, man, like Honestly, I'll never understand why kebab rush gets a bad reputation. They've never ever messed my food up, ever. I promise you. I've been going there for years and they've never once messed my food up. Look at that. Like the chicken tikka kebab with a bit of mayo on it. Honestly, yeah, these guys do a very good kebab. So nice. I'm not uh, even to the point. I grab a piece of both of kebabs, the lamb donna, and then the chicken tikka as well. Grab both together. <sighs> Never ever ever miss. So, mm. And you know what it is as well about these guys? Right. Most places do an all right kebab. Most places do. But I don't know what it is with these guys. Every time I eat their kebab, it's not just all right. It's absolutely fire. <laughs> like it never misses ever. I always want to go back to these guys. But... There's chip shops that are closer to me. Way closer, like round the corner, the next street. But I'll always get a delivery from Kiravros. And it's never late. It's never cold. There's never no hair or anything in it. It's never once made me sick. Believe me guys, I've been to like top restaurants. Me. And the missus, me and Sub, we've ate there. And we've got sick from these top restaurants. Kebab brush has never once made me feel sick or ill. Never once. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, the fries. Mixed it all together. Now, yeah, that fries. Piece of the chicken tikka. And then... 
we will get some kebab. Look at that. Boys, look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Every single time. And see, guys, it's such a good meal. But listen, I'm going to finish this, and then we've got some chicken strips, and I'll bring you guys along for that as well. All right, so <clears throat> I pretty much nearly finished this. Look, I've got a bit of kebab left in there. Um, I thought I'd just leave a bit of space for the strips, but <clears throat> rah, every single time. People need to give kebab rush more respect. Nevertheless, I'm gonna show you guys the chicken strips. Yeah. There's the chicken strips. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I literally think these could just be bought from a superstore and just thrown in the fire. Uh, sorry, in the fryer. I, I never, I'm never going to lie to you guys, but this, these don't look anything special at all. So I'm not even really going to show these to you guys, but guys, look, you saw the food from Kebab Rush. Guys, give it a try. I don't know why it's got a 2.3 rating and have exactly what I have. A large mixed kebab with mayonnaise, salt, no vinegar. Give it a try and I want to know your guys' opinions in the comment section below this video. But listen, thank you guys for watching another video um, with your boy Ambitious Eats. I appreciate you guys. Um, and make sure that you join me in the next one. Make sure that you do. All right. So with that being said, YouTube thinks that you will like one of these two videos that you can see on the screen right now.